everyone and welcome to card number three of my spring and Easter card making series. So for today's card I am using the Paper Smooches Echo Friendly stamp set and I grabbed this little lion and lamb image and inked it up with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink and stamped it onto the CC Designs 110 pound cardstock. And then to color him in I'm starting off with um, some yellow Copic markers. So I started off with the lightest, working my way to the darkest as always, and then blending them together. Um, FYI, I've had a lot of requests for like more spiritual type Easter cards, and this is it, folks. <laughs> I went through my entire stamp stash, and this is the closest I've got to anything. And it's still a little cutesy, sorry, but that's it's all I've got. So anyway, um, after I'd colored the body in, I used my Color of Splendor to just kind of press the color a little deeper into the cardstock to lighten it up a bit and it gave it a little bit of a mottled effect, which I liked, so I left it. And then the main and tail, I used um, a more orangey yellows. Again, starting with the lightest, working away the darkest, and blending them out. Keeping it pretty simple. Um, I have a hard time with the paper smooches images, like trying to get them really like detailed and that because the images themselves are drawn simply. So. I, why not just keep to the same formula and keep it simple. So for the body of the lamb, um, I used my cool grays, very pale again, just the C00 and C1. And then the actual body, um, I just used the BG quadruple zero and then blended it out with the zero. So it gives it the illusion of it being bright white. And then with my W00, I just went lightly around the image to give it a little bit of shading, but hardly any at all. Again, wanting to keep it like pretty crisp and white and simple. So to cut the image out, I used my circle, one of my circle spellbinders dies, um, taped that into place so that it didn't shift when I ran it through my die cut machine. And then my pattern paper for this card is the Echo Park Victoria Garden pattern papers. So I grabbed a couple different ones from the pack. And then again, my Stampin' Up! Lucky Limeade cardstock, which I seem to be obsessed with. Um, die cut a scallop circle from one of the scraps to mat the main image and then I use some Stampin' Up! Pink Pirouette cardstock and the Martha Stewart. This is the lace edger punch. Um, mine is green because I bought it at Walmart years ago. They were so popular when they first came out they were impossible to find. It took me forever to get mine. Um, and now of course I'm not even sure if they're still available. I'll find out when I go to find links for all this stuff. Um, anyway so I punched out two pieces and then adhered them to either side of the yellow strip of pattern paper and then adhered all that together and once I've got that it's a matter of adhering the main image to the little scallop circle so again keeping things fairly simple um, adhering the pattern paper to the card front and then I'm using some Stampin' Up! this is the 5 8 inch whisper white satin ribbon really gorgeous ribbon um, so wrap that around the card, tied it in a bow, and then kind of fiddled with the layout a little bit. Um, for the main image, I wanted it to be popped up a little bit more, so I used um, these large dimensionals I bought from Jody Morrow. Um, I always cut them in half because you get more use out of them that way, and you're just not wasting because they don't need to cover the entire back of the piece. So once I've got the main image on with the dimensionals, it's a matter of t adhering the primas which I just grabbed them from my stash, just little yellow hibiscus primas. So I used my scissors again to pierce the hole because I had it to go through the ribbon. Plus I'm using really huge brads from my stash. They have really flat little prongs. So just using the scissors makes it simpler. So get brads through and flattened. And then for the sentiment, I kept going back and forth between using a pink piece of cardstock or a yellow piece of cardstock. Finally, I just chose this pale yellow and I don't have a source for this. It's in my stash, it's not Stampin' Up! Um, it might be a paper tray. I don't know. It was just in my little scrap drawer. So I stamped um, the sentiment onto the cardstock, heat set it because I used the Brilliance Graphite Black Ink. It just gives it a really crisp look. And then again, fiddled around back and forth with where I was going to place it. Um, oh, that was the Stampin' Up! Large Oval Punch that I used to punch it out. Um, finally decided where I wanted the sentiment to go, so I adhered that into place. And that's it for the card front. So flip that over, um, put a bit of um, acid-free tape on either end so that the ATG adhesive can roll over it smoothly without getting caught on the ribbon, just like so, and then adhering that to the card base, which again is the Stampin' Up! Pink Pirouette cardstock. So the front is done, and then for the inside, I just use the same pattern papers, um, 
just reversed which ones I used on the front and then punched out another piece of the pink pirouette cardstock with the Martha Stewart lace punch. And then I die cut a larger white circle and a scalloped green circle for a place for the person to write a message. And that's all there was to it. So as always, links to everything will be in the description box below the video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.